Everyone's talking about DevOps, but who's actually nailing it? Like who's on the mark? Today we're going to go behind the scenes with four big companies that are kind of leading the charge and staying light years ahead of the competition. I'm talking explicitly about Capital One, Etsy, the City of Hope, and Verizon. These case studies contain strategies that have worked for me and that you too can start using now. Hi, I'm Michael from CodeCloud, and I've spent over two decades in IT. I've seen the biggest players in finance, retail, healthcare, and telecom migrate to DevOps. And in five minutes today, I'm gonna to break down how they use it to stay ahead of their industry's demand for speed, security, and innovation. All right, let's start with a big finance player, Capital One. Now you might think of them as just another bank, but they're at the core truly of a 21st century tech company with DevOps in their DNA. So before 2010, the most traditional banks like Capital One relied heavily on legacy systems and manual processes, leading to slow deployments and increased security risks. And while speed in banking is important, security is non-negotiable. So how do they implement DevOps? Well, they introduced automated testing to make sure every piece of code and every change was bulletproof before deployment. Then they implemented continuous integration using tools like Jenkins, which slashed their time to market by 50%. Then there's something else Capital One did to balance compliance with speed. I'll tell you more at the end of this video because guess what? Other companies are doing it as well. Next up is arts and crafts e-commerce giant Etsy. So back in 2009, Etsy's website was buckling due to high traffic. Their small siloed teams and poor cross-team collaboration made it even harder. Their solution, continuous integration and continuous delivery, particularly when it came to their website. So instead of massive nerve wracking releases that could go wrong, they started deploying small updates in small batches every single day with automated testing. But it didn't come easy. Over the years, Etsy created several tools to test and automate their deployments. Now they can deploy 50 times per day easily and run about 14,000 tests seamlessly. No more downtime, just smooth daily improvements so they can roll back if they need to. What's even cooler is they have embraced a culture of blameless postmortems, which is arguably one of the most important pieces of any ritual. When something goes wrong, instead of finger pointing, they focus on how to improve, how to take accountability, how to take responsibility, and make it so that they make a different mistake next time. This keeps their marketplace running smoothly, even during high traffic events like Black Friday. Next, City of Hope. Now let's switch gears to healthcare. City of Hope is a cancer research and treatment facility with lives on the line every second count. So how did they implement DevOps and how did they improve timely updates at the City of Hope? So City of Hope was using automating testing and tools like Kubernetes to keep critical systems like, for example, electronic healthcare records online. Once they develop a DevOps pipeline, their IT team can manage developer productivity and it rose by 25% and their pipeline build times went from 2.5 hours to about 30 minutes. With DevOps, City of Hope delivers faster updates, better downtime, meaning reduced, right? And improved doctor and patient experiences. What could be more customer obsessed? Finally, let's talk about Verizon. With a team of 200 developers silent into smaller teams, Verizon was battling a four hour long deployment window and a lot of monthly manual releases. So they, like others, took a look at DevOps pipelines and said, how can we take this a step further? How? Well, they actually used AI-driven DevOps. First, they integrated a third-party product called Dynatrace and its Davis AI engine and its machine learning into their DevOps process. This meant that they could predict and prevent network outages on their devices and server outages before they affected millions of customers. They embraced automated performance monitoring, basically giving their teams real-time insights into system health as well as predictions about when things would go wrong. This meant that they could quickly resolve issues and maintain optimal performance across their massive network. The the result was a 3x increase in faster builds and a decrease in rest cycles. And releases went from once per month to once every two weeks, and they cut issues by 50%. Remember that secret ingredient that I mentioned that all these companies were using? It's basically DevSecOps. And so while they all embrace DevOps, they also integrated security, proactive monitoring, and proactive security into every phase of their software development lifecycle and in their CIC pipelines. So whether it's Capital One ensuring compliance and finance, City of Hope safeguarding patient data, or Verizon protecting millions of their subscribers and users, security is baked into the process from day one. So DevSecOps ensures that speed from DevOps doesn't come at the cost of security. So as you work on your own systems, try to think about where security leaks might occur, how you can maybe proactively or even automatically prevent them from the beginning of the process. 
you found this video helpful, hit the like button, hit subscribe. Let us know what other DevOps or DevSecOps stories you would like us to cover. And if you're ready to up your DevOps game, check out CoCloud.com for certifications that can take your career to the next level. See you in the next video.